Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing the RPCS3 emulator on the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti and three different CPUs. The games tested will be Asura's Wrath, Persona 5, Skate 1 and Demon Souls. To skip down at those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check one of the humble affiliate links down in the description as well. Across the whole video on each game, I'll first show you the settings used then the i3-8100, i5-8400 and G4560 on that particular game. The games selected in general are considered playable in the RPCS3 webpage. Persona 5 isn't considered playable, I think, but it's not on their webpage due to a legal problem with the publisher of the game. Before I keep going, I am no expert on the emulation space. The settings used were taken from the official emulator page, and if I run into issues, I just googled it, experimenting a little bit, so keep that in mind. If there is anything wrong with the configuration, used and you know what you're talking about, please let me know down in the comments. All the games except in Skate 1 were tested at 4K resolution. This is because the emulator depends pretty much entirely on the CPU. The GPU usage was always below 65%, except in on Skate 1. I played that one at 1440p since it was using a lot of GPU at 4K as well. So to quickly sum up, lowering it to 720p won't improve performance here. We are CPU bound, get a faster CPU to improve performance. On Demon Souls using the G4560, and i3 8100 i had to launch the emulator using windows 8 compatibility mode it happened a few updates ago that cpus with four threads in some games experience crashes demon souls is one of them the other games tested were ran without that feature the windows 8 stuff the emulator has been improved significantly since the last time i tested it there is now an asynchronous shader cache feature so instead of getting stutters when the game is caching shaders we get missing assets that start loading in you won't see that in this video since I did a couple runs of the sections shown before recording. More info on this shader cache thing in a video down in the description. But anyway guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.